what I was trying to say was... Why do people get so fucking offended on the road? Yeah, not only that, but it... Hold on, sorry. It's going and applying it to real life as well. So mm. I'm going to use like my own experience here is that my mum was kind of like yelling or going off at my little brother because he sat on his glasses and it was kind of just going on and feeling, I'm like, bro. don't you know, know how feeling. expensive they are? Yeah, um, but da, 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 mom, da, da, you don't da, understand, mum. Like, I, yeah. I didn't know. I couldn't. I didn't even have the glasses on, so I couldn't <laughs> see the glasses under yeah. me. Does that not make sense? Yeah. <laughs> and then it's kind of like you think it's over, but it keeps going on and you can tell he feels bad because like kind of boys, you're kind of taught to just, all right, you know, and that's, I feel brand like older brother growing up, he was like, yeah, all right, yeah. Hmm. Because you kind of get to that point where it's, you're not going to listen yeah. anyway. You know, oh my God. Yeah. I've seen my friends like, they've died out in their eyes. Yeah. They're just like, they're just going, yeah. and they looked up at their mum, who's like fucking just blistered. Yeah. And, going, and it's just yes. empty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, empty. Yeah. Like they have no soul. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're, you're real Asian, and when your yeah. mum notices that you've done that detachment, she starts beating your it's ass. Even bigger, yeah. It's like, oh, you're like just like saying yeah now? Yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah, no, nah, it's just in relationships as well, friendships, anything that. Why you, aren't we as more sen- Why aren't we more sensitive? Why aren't we more? Yeah, or just understanding. Understanding of yeah. the situation. Yeah. Yeah, like unless you can actually help, just don't. Just don't. To to uh, uh, there's, there's a level of like first of all, f- I'll in your experience I'll talk about your mum, mm. context. Mm. so okay yes you do have to learn your mistakes you can't just keep like you can't break shit all the time without having yeah but do you see how like from that altruistic route Mm. where it's okay in a life that we live where we have stresses we have different things affecting us Mm. we kind of miss that mark and we just it's just there's this level of like my my mate's mum even like admitted to him once she she Mm. she said to him and i think it was kind of scary because i think what's not uh like it kind of scares me a little Mm. but um, she said that in that time, she felt good. Well, that's the power. As yeah, to that, telling yeah, off her kid. Yeah, and I think that's at least for him that moment. I feel like that was one of the most adult moments he would have had between him and his mum. Yeah, where you can like like. First of all, you hear that and you go, "Oh, you're fucking evil." <laughs> but then you also hear that and you understand a little yeah. bit as a human, as an adult. If you understand the world and the, mm. the disgustingness, the yuckiness, the stresses in life, mm. you come and and you unload, and and I can, because yeah. obviously no, like you know, it, it kids aren't shouldn't be like you know punching bags for our parents' emotions. Obviously, that's not like I I'm all for that not being a thing, right? Mm. But I'm also an Asian kid who's grown up in Asian context, and I understand a bit of a teamwork here. Oh, take a, you know, I'll brunt a bit of this fucking abuse because it's life's mm. hard and you got to put food on the table. I understand that. Yeah. But I only understand that as you get older. But that whole human emotion of like, yes, to think, yeah, okay, that's a bit evil, but also I get it. Like, you mm. can imagine, you know, you're just so pent up, stressed up, your son yeah. does something and you just rip into it and it feels good. Like, you know, you mm. just unloaded, like... But then you don't feel good after. You feel a bit you guilty. Shouldn't, you shouldn't feel good after. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But, well, um, mind you, I, I feel like your mum's situation wasn't the same as that situation. No, no, yeah, yeah. But uh, coming back to the point of, like, when you miss that mark, mm. you miss the mark of, like, what this started off as being. This was meant to be a teaching opportunity. You've done something wrong repetition i've got to you know, show you again and mm. then those little things flood in annoyance i've done i've to- I told you this already you know how hard i worked and that, and and it's almost like myself i hate um i hate people who flake or like or crazy mm. late and things like that don't worry i'm not ripping it here but my point being for a lot of my friends i'm like you know i'm like i'm like this yeah why don't you want to be a little bit more accommodating for this but then on my end mm. i'm like this is my friend. Like, why am I not more accommodating to this? You know? Yeah. So Level, yeah, yeah. If the world just was a bit more understanding, a bit more sensitive, we'd just get along well, hey. Mm. But but I think it's because, no, nah, all humans are inherently selfish. Yeah. I think so too. Because we're, we're like kind of selfish, but we're kind of not. I really like this point that you, you put. Uh, I think we are because it's also like, you know, when you do good things, mm. you feel good. Yeah, you do. And you're addicted and to that And that's how feeling. we can differentiate between what's good and what's bad because mm. it's like time. Everything's just, we've made it up. We've put I like that what you this. said there with the whole thing, good and bad thing when you mm. wrote it, when you were like, just what you don't want to be done to yourself. You don't have like that whole like, uh, please, someone else give me another counter argument. Mm. But I like what you said there mm. when when you wrote it. You were like, um, fucking, 
You say because I can't remember <laughs> it now. Um, it's even if you weren't taught or raised and you were taught what's good and what's bad, what you can and can't do, wouldn't you know anyway fundamentally as a human? I mean, because when we feel pain, we that's why we can empathize with each other than all of that so and that's how we bond you know so yeah. if you do something to someone else that you know wouldn't that you wouldn't like being done to you like why do it yeah you know like to me it doesn't make sense but i guess that's why we have like psychopaths and all of that that just uh, yeah but i was gonna say like the level of like how psychotic could it be do you reckon when like you're someone who like gets so much joy over helping people and so mm. you help a lot of people but yeah. because you've helped a lot of people you've fallen in as like a person who's okay yeah. but you know that you're just waiting to kill these motherfuckers mm. and that's why that, that's why shit like that happens yeah fucking Ted Bundy <laughs> yeah oh freaky. my god that man is, had um, fucking fans yeah that's fans. freaky eh? oh I mean because you, you know you, oh, it's understandable <laughs> Cause we, there's copycat killers and everything because you've got to understand we, we see that story on our ankle and to stay looking that way mm. people saw that story right then and there mm. so you know you, you're thinking but how could you be a fan of something like that I well, don't because know. at the time it was going to trial mm. innocent to proven guilty my friend mm. and so if you're you know I can be a teenage girl growing up the same way as people get fall in love with like gross. stars and that's stuff that's just disgusting yeah, what fall in love with someone who's willing to kill yeah, oh, but like for, been... for pleasure, like not for out of, out of necessity. Mm. But for... that's my thing. His fans, I don't think they believe that he did it. That's why. Oh. Yeah. I, I don't know if he had any fans afterwards. I think no. Mm. Um, I think uh, he had um, he had a kid. He had a kid and like no connection. Like yeah. So mm. like once he was like thing, there was a cut off and the, the lady raised the kid in the home kind oh. of thing. Like, yeah. But um. With the whole idea of like good and bad, then to bring it back to that, you know that idea I told about Mexico and things like that. Yes. Any thoughts? Um. Yeah. Like to them, that's just normal. It's what they've grown up with, and it's kind of like nature versus nurture as well. That kind of comes into play a bit. Is what's genetically that's passed onto you. You can't help it. You mm. know, because it it is. We can, we've proven there's actually a thing where a lot of alcoholics they have like viking genetics because all they did back then was pillage and then drink a lot mm. you know oh, <laughs> so yeah, it's actually sense. proven and then alcohol alcoholism mm -hmm. uh, yeah um they're more they like they get linked to depression and you mean alcoholics kind of, alcoholics yeah <laughs> alcoholism yeah. the ideology <laughs> whereby you drink a lot of alcohol yeah. but then like the whole psychopaths and sociopaths that because sociopaths are like they're not born missing empathy and emotion mm. essentially and they're kind of like nurtured that way in a way but their experiences happen yeah. traumatic experience that cause, yeah, kind of to make them switch. think that way mm. and because um one of my workmates she used to do youth um youth thingy and you think <laughs> work like youth care whatever yeah, yeah. I get you, like working with and a lot people. of them were a lot of trouble kids and mm. um you know there was oh actually i don't think i should talk about that yeah, i think no, that's leave, like that, yeah. yeah i mean oh yeah no leave but it. it's kind of basically when s someone does something wrong mm. to them like you kind of this is why in judges and cases um such as that it's kind of you got to think about it from their point of view. Cause how they it, translate it, how they interpret it, yeah, right? Yeah, because mm. to you, it could be like the worst thing, you know, such as culture. And for example, like in China, I think it's like, it's polite to slurp. Yeah. It shows, you know, you... You really like the food. Yeah. It's delicious. Yep. Yeah. Um, shoes off in the house. It's just Ooh. respect, you know, different hand signatures. Like to us, the rude finger is rude, but to another, it doesn't that make any sense. Like, yeah. Yeah. There's a whole Hold joke on, about that. That got yeah. like super off topic. No, but, that's cool. I, I get you like... Um, like how people translate things, right? Mm. I, no, I understand. Um, what I wanted to post to you, though, you know, then it kind of becomes like, okay, let's say everyone knows what good or bad is, right? Mm. Then we have to talk about that whole level of selfishness then. Because if I can recognize yeah. what's good or bad and I still do that bad thing because it's good for me, because mm. I'm, I'm thinking, you know how like sometimes you have children who, because they're young, they don't, like they're not bad kids and they just don't know. Like, for example, they've been here, they know that they don't want to get hit, but they could have hit someone else. You know what mm. I mean? But I remember as a kid, when 
I think hit, yeah, you know, I heard like other kids and things like that just like playing and things like that. Yeah, mm. hard to admit, but <laughs> the point is, um, <laughs> that's because um, an auntie once told my dad like, um, he, he like told my dad like, oh, your son just likes hurting other kids, mm. and when I heard that, like now later on in my life, I was like, oh, ouch. Yeah. But um, when you do that, growing up, I like I watch my superheroes, man got ADHD, so, you know, go to school and I like, get in trouble and stuff like that, but like, I watch my superheroes, so my understanding was that I'm doing, I'm a good person, mm-hmm. I'm one of the good guys, yeah. I didn't see anything I did that was, was bad, getting in trouble for talking in class, getting distracted and stuff like that, Thing I didn't see that as me being a bad boy, like, mm. I just, I'd get in trouble for my parents to get caught in, I'd get parent interviews, but I didn't see what I was doing wrong, I just, mm. I'm a good guy, I'm yeah. friends with Batman There's and Spider-Man. Mm. There's a really interesting post that I saw mm-hmm. on Reddit about exactly that is people that do bad things don't think they're bad. Like they think they're good, but continue talking. I'm listening. I'll keep talking. But then um, what about when they do do something bad then and they know it's bad, but it's for the good that they get out of it? Mm. Do you think that just comes down to inherent selfishness? I don't know. Because I feel like humans are selfish. Naturally. We are naturally selfish naturally it's like kind disposition of, to like want yeah, for myself what you want I, yeah. and i guess that's kind of how religion came to be because if you think about it like that the whole the apple and eve and the serpent Bit self-serving and, eh? yeah it's it's for you you're not doing it for the greater good you're doing it for yourself hmm. but then it kind of came into sorry no, ignorance is bliss <laughs> yeah. that, but, well, hold up yeah. so um what you mean is like religion Mm. People kind of made it for themselves. Mm. And then it became into reality, like it's existed now. And the point that you were trying to make it was now for other people? Or? Yeah, I don't know. Well, uh, are you talking about how like people kind of have a religion, they make it for themselves? Because it should be yeah. a personal, religion's a personal mm. thing, right? But then they go kind of now, there's a level of like putting, push, not pushing it, but like a little bit of marketing and sales tactics religion. You want to talk about God? Mm. Yeah, you, um, oh, good. There's a huge topic we talked in this one, but uh, a small one then. When I was in uni, a lot of Christians would come up and like, "Hey, you want to talk about Jesus together?" Oh, really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, it's like, no. Yeah. Oh yeah, or like um, they'll find if you're religious or you're not, and then we want to talk about religion together. Mm. Try to get you to Bible meetings and stuff. Yeah, uh, I've actually gone to one before because like, I know you have. Oh. You know why I know? How? Yeah. You're like me, like we fucking <laughs> that whole idea of like. Oh. <laughs> I um you you eleven you twelve I think I went yeah. to church for a little bit just because like I knew that I wasn't so religious but at least mm. let's go come and see what the people who I'm not like kind of with are talking yeah. about I made great friends there mm. I respect it this very day I just don't see yeah. as much <laughs> but yeah yeah it's just interesting right is seeing because obviously we've got like our work personality at like this and yeah. it's just interesting seeing this person you know as a friend has that's sort of a different mindset it's kind of jarring bro yeah because i don't know if you've seen it through your experience but or you have a friend act this way but when they mm. get to church they talk different mm. they use like a ton, like the, the tone some change yeah. and then the the rhythm and the pacing because everyone everyone kind of just talks the same it's in mm. church you know we talk about jesus very very hush hush tone very respectful yeah and well then you see him outside it's different like what the yeah. hell i remember me in church i would never swear Mm. Never swear because no one else is swearing. I'm not going to swear. Yeah, I am actually trying to not swear so much. Why? Just because it's so harsh. I because no, the reason why I asked Nothing why because like, I've had th- I've had thoughts about it. I've had mm. thoughts about it. Right. So I my mum doesn't like swearing. Mm. My mum wouldn't like me swearing. I I swear a lot now because of the, mm. like where I've grown up. You know, the new area, going to school, stuff. I have boys, boys, big boys, boy, so I swear, mm. but. And I'm okay with that, and I'm comfortable with being myself, and mm. you know I, I don't exactly you know, try to hide or shy away from it. Mm. But I do kind of think like, wh- what kind of opportunities am I limiting myself from? You know, because because the world's so mm. a certain way. But then there's this push and pull between well, how much do I want to be myself? Yeah. And I also understand the whole idea of swearing. Like it's not pretty. It's offensive. You know what yeah, I mean? So. But- I feel like you can just be a bit more articulate with your words. Like, y- you can use a swear word in mm-hmm. a lot of... I think that just died. That's right. We're, we're, um, we're, yeah. We're good. We're is, a good kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that... Where, so, you can use your... Um, you can swear, but still be articulate. Use your certain words. Yes, yep. yeah. Um, and, yeah, like, I just feel... 
because we kind of there's like a wheel you know and you can <laughs> synonyms and you can use different instead of trying to say it's very good but use that instead of very um <laughs> is you can use another word to just make it a bigger word like mm. i don't know i just but then you're now associating bit. big words to be more articulate <laughs> No, okay, not hold big up, hold words. Hold on, hold on. Let me try to help you out here. Huge step away from swearing. Um, mm. Like, that was a huge step away from swearing because now you're talking about like using different words and things like that to yeah, substitute instead swearing. Instead of using swearing, yeah. Mm. Instead of like, so basically finding other ways to kind of... Express c- yourself mm. better. You, uh, you've heard about the study of like how swearing helps us to release endorphins. It makes yeah. you feel better, right? Yeah, it does. So there's... No, then I'm there's not a saying not about, swear mm. at yeah. all. Yeah, no, 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 you're not saying that. every single sentence or every mm. second sentence yeah. i i think i like where you're going with that well, mm. well for me how i can take that on board because like i can imagine like, you know i'm first time i meet someone i'm already swearing so i've already shown all my cards like i'm this person mm. and me as myself i can see how like i sh- maybe shouldn't be that comfortable mm. like, showing all my cards so so but soon. i think it's also just a sign of honesty you know. True, like being real. Yeah, mm. I can't, there is a level of like me being real and trying to always be myself. Mm. Uh, quick one before we wrap up is the yes. conflict that I find with like uh, Vietnam being. It's a country that there is swearing and stuff like that, but then there's a whole just polite nature, so we don't swear a lot. Mm. I remember when I was in Vietnam, hanging out with different people and different girls and stuff like that, and talking. They are like they're understanding and accommodating the fact that I'm from here, so that's why I swear a lot. But then I can mm. see that kind of the same look that my mum has, where they're kind of like. I'm swearing so much. Like, yeah. Calm down, bro. Yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for coming. Thank um, you for having me again. Eventually, oh. I will have my own setup, and you can. Yeah, I'm guest. fucking looking forward to that. Mm. Um, we can just, just create this little podcast for me, cross yeah. kind of thing, and then like, oh, it'd be cool, eh? It'd be fresh. Yeah, it would be. You're about to go eat fur now. Yes, I am. Fucking bon appetit. So I excited. hope you enjoy. Thank you. Um, let's wrap up. Thank you. Go on. Thank, thank you for have a good coming. Have I hope you enjoyed you. the live show. <laughs> <laughs> Took you on a loop for a bit. <laughs> um, let's get out of here. Let's get out of.